Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with your MLB Baseball Preview and Prediction for Tuesday, June 29th. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're watching on a mobile device. Today's podcast brought to you by bullpenpicks.com. Anybody can play, anybody can join, follow the top pickers today at bullpenpicks.com and that is Mag, still our leader at 786. We've got a new second place, Michael Parachuk here, the Chuck 5250 at uh, second place at 690. And there's Underdog Sniper, 649, uh, rounding off the top three top pickers today at bullpenpicks.com. All right, let's get to the action here today. And we're going to kick it off in the Bronx with the Yankees taking on the Angels. Now, first pitch, 705. Jameson Tyon going to go here for the uh, Yankees. He's up against Andrew Heaney of the uh, Halos. The uh, New York Yankees at 155 favorite. The over-under set at 10. ATS forecast. Computer pick sees a Halos victory. 6.5 to 5.1. The over-under at 11.7. Yankees coming off that 5-3 loss last night. They're now on a four-game losing streak while the Angels are on a two-game win streak. Miami taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies losing 12-4 to yesterday against the Cincinnati Reds. Vince Velasquez is going to go today for the Phillies. He's up against Trev Rogers. Of the Miami Marlins. The uh, computer forecast based on 17 previous game in the system. Going to go with the Marlins. 5.03, 2.8. The over-under at 7.85. And looking at the Marlins' last two games, I've gone under the total. They are 33-44 and 44 on the year, while the Phillies are 36-40. and 40. Tampa Bay taking on the Washington Nationals. Looks like a low-scoring game in this one. 2.6 to 1.2. The over-under at 3.8. You got Rich Hill up against Joe Ross for the uh, Nationals. And when Ross goes for Washington, look at the over-under record. 11-3 to the under, but when Rich uh, King of the Hill goes for the Rays, they are 10-5 to the over. Seattle taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. Now the Blue Jays, a 220 chalk in this one. The over-under is set at 10. Chris Flexen going to go for the Mariners. He's up against uh, Robbie Ray of the Toronto Blue Jays. And we see a blowout here. 9.6 for Toronto, 2.8 for the Mariners. The over-under at 12.51, so we do like this one here to go over the total. That total is at 10, and uh, looking at the Toronto Blue Jays coming off a 5-2 win Sunday, and uh, both these teams coming off one day's rest, and your Kogo on this game is at 47%, meaning a uh, 53% chance of this game going under the total. Kogo stands for chance of game going over. Detroit taking on the Cleveland Indians. Now, the Tribe uh, winning last night 13-5 over the Tigers, and uh, looking at today's starting pitcher, you got J.C. Maya going for Cleveland. He'll be up against Jose Urena of the Tigers. And the computer pick going to go Cleveland 5.3 to 3.8. The over-under at 9.2. Kansas City losing uh, 6-5 to last night at Fenway against the Boston Red Sox. Nick Pavetta going to go today for the uh, the Bo Sox. He'll be up against Brad Keller of the Kansas City Royals. They're 8-8 eight eight in his starts. The Kansas City now mirrored in a 6-game losing streak while the Bo Sox are on a 4-game win streak. San Diego taking on the Cincinnati Reds. This game will be played in Cincinnati at the Great American Ballpark. The uh, Padres, a 137 favorite. Blake Snell going to go here for the Padres. They're 6-9 his starts. The last three games for San Diego have gone over the total. And uh, since he coming off that big blow, win yesterday 12-4. And uh, we do have the Padres winning this one. 4.3-3.2. The over-under at 7.5. Mets taking on the Braves. This game will be in Atlanta. 153 is the price tag here on Atlanta. The over-under set at 9. Tyler McGill going to go here for the Mets. He'll be up against the old veteran Charlie Morton here for the Atlanta Braves. And we do like the uh, the chop shop here. 5.9 to 4.4. The over-under at 10.3. The last four games for Atlanta have gone under the total. Baltimore taking on the Houston Astros. Astros losing uh, 9-7 against Baltimore in the last game. I think that was yesterday. And uh, they are now in a three-game losing streak. So a little bit of a hiccup here for Houston these days. And uh, looking at the forecast today, 4.2 to 3.5 favoring Houston. You got Jose Urquidy going for the Strohs. They're 9-4 in his starts and uh, still undecided for Baltimore. Chicago Cubs taking on the Milwaukee Brewers and the uh, Cubbies getting hammered last night at Miller Park. 14-4, to a 10-run 10, uh, 10 loss for the uh, Cubs last night. Zach Davies going to go up against Brandon Woodruff today. And when Woodruff goes for the Brew Crew, they are 11-5 uh, and five in his starts. I got the line of minus 169 for the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. And you can see you're laying 220. So um, a bit over value here today. But I also had the Cubbies at minus 131. And you're getting good value at about, what, 180? So I think you, uh, you're you getting good value here on Chicago. But unfortunately, the computer pick going to lean with Milwaukee. 
four to two point uh, two point five. The over under at six point five, so it does like it to go under the total. And don't look now, but the uh, Milwaukee Brewers on a six game win streak, while the Cubbies are on a four game losing streak. All right, let's take a look at the Chicago White Sox who uh, rained out yesterday, so they're going to play this one here today. And uh, Lucas Giolito going to go up against uh, Kenta Maeda of the uh, Minnesota Twins. And uh, looking at the chance of winning the Cal, 45% favoring Minnesota. And the computer picks all over him, 4.6 to 4.1. The over-under at 8.81. Arizona taking on the Cardinals. The uh, D-backs losing last night to St. Louis 7-1. you got Carlos Martinez going for St. Louis today. He'll be up against Caleb Smith of the Arizona Diamondbacks. And uh, looking at the D-backs, they're on a two-game losing streak. They're 22-58 and on the year. The Cole goes at 58%. Again, we've got St. Louis winning this one, 4.06 to 3.8, and you're over-under at 7.88. we got uh, the Bucks taking on the Colorado Rockies. Rockies winning 2-0 yesterday at Coors Field. you got Herman Marquez going today up against uh, Chase DeYoung for the uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates. And looking at the line, 158 is the price tag on the Rockies. I had him at plus 164, so a bit overvalued here today. And uh, looking at the chance of winning for both sides, a 2% difference favoring Pittsburgh at 65%. And uh, we're going to go with the Bucks here. 5.18 for Pittsburgh, 4.9 for the Rockies. The over-under at 10.16. So it does like it to go under the total, and that's a high total today at uh, 11. But keep in mind, it is Coors Field. Texas Rangers taking on the Oakland Athletics. The Oakland a minus 172. The over-under set at 8.5. ATS forecast, computer pick, going to lean with Oakland here, 4.9 to 3.7, the over-under at 8.72. James Kaplan going to go here for Oakland. He's up against Mike fulton of the Texas Rangers. And uh, when fulton goes for Texas, they are 5-10 and 10 in his starts. And looking at Texas Rangers now on a three-game win streak, they're on one day's rest along with Oakland. And uh, Oakland coming off a 6-2 loss, uh, win in their last game Sunday against San Francisco. So it should be interesting uh, matchup here today. My line on the game, I had Oakland at minus 139. And you can see the value here is uh, 172. So a bit overvalued today for Oakland. And your final game of the night, the Dodgers taking on the San Francisco Giants. The Giants losing 3-2 last night to Trevor Bauer and the Angels. And uh, the Dodgers, sorry. And uh, Kevin Gossman going to go here today for the uh, Giants. He's been one of their best pitchers. They're 11-4 and in his starts. They're on a two-game losing streak right now. 15 and 28 on the season. Well, the Dodgers are going to send Walker Bueller's day off, and uh, they're a 140 favorite. The computer forecast going to lean with the uh, Giants here, 4.6 to 4.07. The, the over under at 8.74. So um, it does like it to go over the total. The uh, Dodgers on a four game win streak, while the Giants on a two game losing streak. All right, let's go see the trends are your friends. I know sometimes I forget these and people are get a little bit upset, but uh, I didn't forget today on a Ruby Tuesday. And let's go to the 80% club. Let's go to MLB. And uh, just for funs and giggles, let's see where the, which uh, friends, which trends are our friends here today for Tuesday, June 29th. Cardinals 13-1 and as a home team coming off a win over a National League West division opponent the last two seasons. So a 92.8% winning angle on this one. The Yankees, man, the Yankees are hurting. They're 11-1 as a 140, 160 home favorite on a Tuesday, on a Ruby Tuesday the last four years. Blue Jays 11-1. As a 180 to 200 home favorite, uh, as a home favorite, uh, the last three years, and that is a 91.6% uh, angle right there. And let me see here, the Texas Rangers, 10 and one as an away team, coming off a uh, game where they allowed one run against the last two years, so that's a nice little angle right there. The uh, the Miami Marlins, 10 and one uh, as an away team, coming off a day game this season. So anytime they come off a day game, and 90% uh, to the under. And let me find another uh, one here. Uh, trying to find some coming off good situations right here. Um, let me see here. The under 10 and 2 for the Pirates as a 140, 160 road dog coming off an under the last four years. That's pretty interesting right there. And the Colorado Rockies 10 and 2 as a 140, 160 home favorite uh, the last two seasons. And let's see if we can find a good. Uh, here's the one here. The Pittsburgh Pirate. The under is 9 and 2 for the uh, the Bucks. When they're an away team coming off a left-handed pitcher this season, so I, anytime we do um, uh, trends are your friends, and we, you know I can do the last two years, three years, ten years. I always my favorite ones are current season because it involves the current roster and in in the micro management type thing and micro and macro world. I always like that uh, that same season of of, of stats because it, then everybody in the whole league uh, pertains to that same. Uh, those same numbers, right? So I always like to, uh, anytime I do these trends of your friends, 
Uh, my favorite angle is always the current season. All right, let's go take a look at the old 80% club stats. These are uh, one of my favorites too here, but uh, let me see. Old 80%. Let's go to Major League Baseball. I normally like to get the ones at the bottom because uh, there are always some good angles down here. Um, all right, here's one on Boston. So when the Red Sox are a favorite the last five years and they won their last game by one run or less, so obviously by one run, and they have a record of 5-2 in their last seven, 14-3 and three to the under. And here's another one. The Houston Astros as a home underdog the last five years. Lost last game by two runs or more. 8-2-1. and one. But I don't think they're an underdog here today. So I don't think this pertains uh, to us today. Texas as a 160-180 road dog versus a division opponent after a non-division game. 18-4-1 and four and one to the under. So pretty good angle right there. And let's see if we can find a good angle on the side. Um, let me see here. Let's Nothing really to... Oh, maybe this one here. The New York Mets as a road dog versus a National League East opponent. Last 10, 8-2 and two to the under. So not bad. Some pretty good uh, stats right there. for. But I always prefer the um, uh, the ones, that, again, that are current season. And hopefully that will uh, lead you to some winners today in the winner's circle. Speaking of winners, how about 20% off your next membership package right here at ATSStats.com. Put in promo code FOOTBALL2021. That's capital F. No space between football and 2021 and uh, get 20% off your next monthly or yearly package right here at uh, atsstats.com. And if you're interested in my picks today, and uh, <laughs> not having a great uh, couple of days here, but uh, we'll bounce back here today, hopefully, and uh, you can get my picks. Go to uh, Most Followed. Not a great day for yours truly yesterday. Only, what, 2 and 7? So click on Follow My Picks. Look for the Expos logo, and uh, you can follow my selections each and every day. But you don't want to follow my picks. You want to follow the top scorers, and that would be the top three players right now, Mags, uh, the Chuck 5250, and Underdog Sniper. Those are your top three pickers. Let's see if there's a hot uh, picker right now. Oh, look at this. Dave B, Lenny 21, 17 and 7 the last two days. So another player to follow. And folks, you want to follow some of the best baseball pickers right here at bullpenpicks.com. All right, there you have it. That's a wrap for a Ruby Tuesday, June 29th. As always, shop for value, play those percentages. We'll see you back shortly with another brain report.